Hello everyone, what's up, what's going on? Welcome to the Let's Chat episode 7, I believe. I believe, might be wrong. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say uh, Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a great New Year so far. It's only the second, but hopefully it was awesome. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I tried to record this yesterday, it didn't really work out. But um, I was a little lit off the New Year. So it didn't really work out, but um, I'm recording this today before I upload this and then Minecraft. Minecraft will be out today about 5 o'clock, so if you guys want to see that, go check that out. Starbound tomorrow, you guys know the schedule. So let's get into the schedule actually, and then I'll get into my plans for the new year, my thoughts on last year, and we'll end the video. So <laughs> uh, yeah, um, plans for the, or series rather, schedule. Okay, so there are two series that are going away. Planet Coaster. I'm sorry for those of you who like that game. It's just something I got bored of. I can't. I can't force it. I, I've been dreading playing it. I just can't force it. I got bored of it. I really did. Um, I know a lot of you guys like that series, but I'm not going to do something if I don't enjoy doing it. So That's kind of my policy. And uh, yeah, I don't like ending series, but it's one of those open-ended series where it doesn't really have an end like a like a linear game like Bioshock or something or or World of Warcraft even for example but World of Warcraft is another game that's technically open-ended and we're ending that as well I thought I'd want to play it I'm still having fun playing World of Warcraft but I'm having fun playing other characters what I'm not having fun doing is playing a character for a let's play that I can't play off camera if that makes any sense so I don't I don't want to do that <laughs> It was a rash decision by me at first, but I kind of came to the realization, like, okay, I don't want to do that series. It's Both of those series were totally killing my vibe. Like, like they were making me dread making videos, because I knew it was like, fuck, if I, if I got to do Planet Coaster this week, or fuck, if I got to do, if I got to do World of Warcraft shit. And so, yeah, I mean, if, if you feel that way, you probably shouldn't do the series, so we're not going to be doing that. Um... Everything else is staying. You guys know we're trying to finish Starbound. We're uh, working towards finishing South Park. The Fractured But Whole comes out early this year, so once South Park is done, that will be taking its place, the new South Park game. Um, there's some other games I've been considering playing. You know, um, old games, games that came out last year. Um, you know, some newer games that may be coming out in the future. I don't know. I'm not too sure what I want to do yet. You know, Starbound might finish, and then I might just do three series a week. I don't know. Um, but I do want to finish Batman. I've mentioned that many times before. And what I will say is that Batman will be coming back this week. So, be prepared. Batman will be coming back this week. Um, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> so, I plan on releasing it on... I don't know when I'm going to release it. I think Thursday. Thursday will probably be a good day to release it. And I've also got a, a Rocket League highlight clip for that day. I want to release the Rocket League highlight clip now, but I'm going to wait till Thursday. <laughs> I don't think you guys can handle it right now. No, it's, it's pretty sick. It's like a... It's, it was the first wall to air dribble aerial that I've gotten. Like, literally, like it, it, I, I, I block it from hitting our goal. Dude kind of sends it into the corner. I run it up the side, run it off the wall, jump off the wall, boost to it, and dunk that shit right in like a fucking, like a fucking Chips Ahoy cookie into some milk, dog. <laughs> like, like it's the shit. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm enjoying life. You know, I'm looking forward to this year. I don't want to speak too soon, obviously, because you never know what will happen, but. Um, you know, last year started off strong for me, ended kind of poorly. It got better with these last couple months, but, but you know, towards August, last quarter, you know, <laughs> it got bad. Um, and, uh, you know, I've always wanted to talk about that. I, that's not the place I'm going to talk about it now. But if you guys ever want to know, like, why I disappeared for a year, um, I'm over a year, really. If you guys want to know why I disappeared for like over a year, and uh, for some of you old subs, and you're really just curious what happened, I'll talk about it, but 
it's too long to get into in this video because I want to keep this short. It's literally like a 30, 45 minute story. Uh, so, <laughs> so, you know, um, I'm just, yeah. But uh, I don't know, I feel good today. I was feeling like retarded how I looked yesterday. I felt like I looked super bloated and fucking retarded looking. Also, because I was a little lit, so that definitely affects how you see yourself. And also affected how I looked, let's be honest. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, um, I talked about series, talked about last year. I'm looking forward to this year. There is something I kind of want to tell you guys about, but I'm not going to go into full detail. I've been working on a side project. It's a YouTube channel, and it's a YouTube channel that uses the algorithm to its best ability and it's something that I spotted not many people are doing it but the people who are doing it are doing it right and as long as you have the wherewithal to know how to render videos and upload them you know you can and record videos you can pretty much do this channel with ease and it's been pretty successful so far um, I did it for a week about the last week of December got about 1300 views I ended up having a video pop off got 30,000 right now which subsequently grew the channel now I have went from zero subs to 50 and now also a lot of my other videos are passing a lot of views this one video is about to hit 10,000 I got another that's about to break into a multiple thousands you know old videos that are growing on that channel from when I first started it that week prior and I'm I'm making I it's potentially I don't know how long it's gonna last I don't know how exponentially it's gonna grow but if it really turns into something that can support me and make me enough money this year um, and even make me a lot of extra money I mean you know what else can you ask for man uh, so if that's the case, I'm going to milk that as long as I can. I'll talk to you guys about it more if it becomes more successful. But um, one thing I'm going to do is not cross these two. You know, Even if that channel blows up, like I wouldn't go on that channel and be like, Hey, go check out this gaming channel, you know, and then blow up my channel subsequently. Like, I'm not going to do that. You know, and, and I even thought too, I was like, what if this channel blows up? Like, what if I start making all this money off this other YouTube channel? Would I just stop doing my Let's Play channel? And the question and the answer is no, because even with the prospect of making money already, I'm still doing this as a hobby. This is what I love to do. I'm having fun getting on here and chatting to you guys. The other channel doesn't have me involved with it at all, other than just the fact that I'm the one who's uploading the videos. But other than that, I don't really have a face or even re or just replying to comments, you know, I don't really have a face in that channel. Um, I know it's very vague, I'm not going to go into detail what it is, but basically it's something that I've been seeing on YouTube for years, and there's a little market where basically it's a, basically it's a genre. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, fuck, how do I explain it? It's, I basically, it's something that people have been doing on YouTube for years, and I basically saw like this little area where there's only a couple big channels and it's a little area kind of focusing on one subject and I knew I was like fuck there's all these videos out there I was like this is so easy I could replicate this and make it look so good and I could get tons of views and so far I'm I've been proven right, man. I've earned, I've been, it's fun. It's fun watching it grow, man. And, and in the past few days, it's been blowing the fuck up. So if it ever seems like some of the attention, that's kind of why I took a break last week too, during Christmas, is I wanted to work on that channel. And I did. And uh, it's not something that takes away too much time from this channel. Um, it really isn't, I promise you. Like, if, if, if I went into detail, you'd be like, oh, wow, that is the easiest fucking thing on the planet. Are you kidding me? But there's two reasons why I don't want to tell you guys. One, because I'm not sure how successful it's going to be. And number two, I don't want people copying me. <laughs> it's it's like, it's... And that might sound ash holish, but, man, if, if the market starts getting too saturated for it right now... I'm trying to milk this money, dog. I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it, 
yeah, I'm just, I don't know. It's something I'm figuring out and I'm having fun with right now. So, um, yeah. Anyways, other than that, not much else to talk about. UFC 207 was crazy. Ronda Rousey got fucked up. That was my guess. I, my guess was if, if she doesn't, if she doesn't, with Edmund Targaryen, it wasn't likely that she was going to hang back and be defensive or even try to get in the clinch and use her other strengths. You know, she's at a fucking boxing gym with a dumbass boxing coach that thinks his boxing is so good that, you know, you can't get head kicked. But, you know, Holly Holm head kicked her, and I guess Edmund Targaryen's still telling her the same shit. So, although she might have gotten in super shape, she was under a different coach, might have been a lot better. But, uh, Amanda Nunes is a bad motherfucker. She punches really hard. And I knew that if Ronda came in and did not change her game plan, if she didn't try to stay on the outside, which isn't the smart idea, but if you tried against Amanda Nunes because she hits you at the end of those punches, you know, she like really corks. she got long arms and wide shoulders. She'll fucking <laughs> like crack the fucking shit out of you. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I knew, I knew if she just tried to rush in, she was going to get dominated. So, you know, um, that was to be expected. I did not expect that Dominic Cruz, Cody Garbrandt fight. I expected Dominic to beat him in a decision unless Cody got the punch because that's all it takes but you know the first and second round I was like okay this fight's gonna be interesting this fight's gonna be interesting but in the third round he cut Dominic's eye open and then after that it was like it wasn't the same and then he started hitting him with some strong shots ended up finishing a decision Dominic didn't get knocked out which is amazing fucking dude can take a punch dude <laughs> that's something we didn't expect from Dominic Cruz because we don't see him get hit and we kind of got see him, we seen him got wobbled by uh, TJ a little bit so we didn't really expect that you know um, we were like holy shit like, <laughs> like you know but hey I'm not one of those haters I'm not one of those people that fights back and forth about who's who you know I expected Dominic to win I wanted Dominic to win but uh, Cody Garber I'm starting my respect great fighter I'd like to see Dominic come back and do well maybe maybe Dominic can fight somebody like Lineker that'd be cool uh, I think I think it'd be cool to see Dillashaw go ahead and fight Garbrandt um, and then Dominic fight the next contender and then possibly get a title rematch, but it's probably going to be Dillashaw, Garbrandt. One of my sinuses got to fuck up mid video. <laughs> it's probably going to be Tillish, Dillashaw, Garbrandt, and then and then whoever is the loser, Dominic will face, and then Dominic will get the championship match, or whoever wins of the of the TJ Dillashaw Garbrandt fight will fight Dominic Cruz as first title defense. Yeah, so, I don't know, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, man, this UFC shit's fun. I've been getting so into it this past year, and it's it's been absolutely crazy. I love the shit out of it. It's fun as hell to watch. Um, so, yeah, it looks like silent hell outside. If I could show you guys right now, it looks like silent fucking hell outside. Yeah, I, <laughs> like, it looks pretty fucking bad. Um, but, uh... Yeah, not much else to say about that. The Dillashaw Lineker fight was great too. Dillashaw just really outworked Lineker. Lightning fucking fast, dude. His takedowns were insane. Uh, <laughs> so fucking quick. And those are the three fights I was looking fight forward to the most. The Neil Magny Johnny Hendricks fight was really boring to me. Although I was looking forward to that fight, it was really fucking boring. And some of the other fights I didn't really have to pay attention to. I was playing Rocket League while it was going on, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I forgot to talk about something I, I mentioned earlier, I'm sorry. I'm just a scatterbrained person, and I don't know. I had my coffee. Hopefully, I covered everything. Uh, I'm going to probably take a shower, chill, and get ready to record South Park a little later. I gotta work tomorrow, but I might also record some Batman. I think I gotta work tomorrow. I might not. Who knows? But um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and record some Batman too. Get that over with, and then I can say that my week is complete. So uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, a lot of things coming, man. A lot of things coming. I'm looking forward to the year. So here's to 2017 being a better year. Too many people died in 2016, whether they're famous people or people I just knew in real life, you know, um, and, uh, 
2016 was a rough one. It really was. With the election, so much division amongst people. It was really fucked up. It really was. Uh, my hopes for 2017 are that people can kind of just fucking chill. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, just chill. Like, some people are way too involved in other people's lives. They're way too involved in things they shouldn't be. They care more about, you know, the Kardashians than they do with what's going on in the real world. And then the people who do care what's going on in the real world or go about it the completely wrong way. You know? Um, so, I don't know. There's just a weird... There's a weird... People are acting so strange, but, you know, being young, I think it's easy to say that, but I think people in general are just crazy. I don't know. I'll learn. I'll learn some more this year. Hopefully become a better human by the end of it. That's all you can ask for. Every year so far has made me a better person, so. I really like how 2016 shaped me, I guess, would have to be one of the final things I'd have to say, but, because it definitely taught me a lot, but, yeah. 2017, I'm looking forward to it. It sounds awesome, and it's going good so far. So just know, everything is gravy. I hope you guys are having a good year. You know, fucking don't make your New Year's resolution your resolution. Make it your lifestyle, son. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's something corny I saw on Facebook. I was just trying to sound inspirational to the children out there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, I will see you guys later.